Good morning. Today is a very exciting day today because as you can tell by the title, it is the annual trip to the Hamptons. So essentially a few friends and I are just gonna go to the Hamptons to go apple picking and then we're just going to kind of hit a few of the towns as well. So East Hampton and then Sag Harbor, which is literally my favorite place in the world. It's something out of a storybook. Um, so I just got changed. Here's the outfit of the day. And I'm just getting a few things before we leave. Um, I just want to bring a few things there. And then it is currently like 8 in the morning. So then we're going to walk to the bus. We're going to be taking the jitney out there, just like in Gossip Girl. So we're going to be doing that. And then we'll be there in a few hours. I just wanted to take you guys along today with me. I'm so excited. It's just going to be so relaxing. And that's the plan. So here's the current outfit of the day. Just this little... Vivian Westwood choker and then I'm pretty much in head to toe and and other stories and then I just have this Lele Sadui headband and then these really cute black boots to pair with that. So we're just going to go with this look for apple picking. We just left our apartment. Hello. <laughs> we are currently walking to the Jitney right now. Your outfit's really cute too. Do you oh, want to give you. them a breakdown? Yes. So my sweater is actually from Etsy, from a vintage shop. Um, if you look up like Irish fisherman sweater, that's what comes up. And then my jeans are from Madewell. And then I'm wearing my Nike blazer mitts. And yeah, very <laughs> cute. And then we're meeting our third friend at Columbus Circle. And then we're all just going to walk over together. And now the sun's finally coming up over the buildings. I'm so out of breath right now. I know. Oh my Whenever god. Whenever I vlog so. going up a hill, it's like, sorry guys, I'm panting. So our apartment is right by the water essentially, so we have to walk up like a series of hills in order to just like get to the main area of town. So we are currently just walking up those hills right now. something out of a storybook. I'm going to say that with everything. And so this is our first stop and essentially the orchard is really close. But I saw that they had a few little cafes and just little storefronts. So I think we're just going to go kind of browse around, hop into the little shops and then head to the apple orchard in a little bit. Doesn't this just look so wholesome? Soul cycle provisions. Oh yeah, we're we'll we'll coming in five. Perfect. So how would you describe provisions? Okay. So provisions is basically like a little <laughs> No, just as it, just as pricey, just as pricey. It's actually, more pricey. More pricey, yeah, but it's worth yeah, it. We can go this is just the best. A milk making machine, only in the Hamptons. Oh, they have samples. Are you serious? Here we go, up here on the left. In a quarter mile, your destination will be on the left. It's very rustic. We just got to the apple orchard and it is honestly the cutest thing ever, guys. It's a little bit gloomy today, which is so nice. Um, but I mean, that's better because obviously photos, don't we love a good gloomy day? 
and it's just so wholesome. Like, look how adorable this is. Information. Smile. Wait, what were you saying earlier? What did I say? Oh, Twenty dollars in the hand. Welcome to the Hamptons, where Twenty dollars yeah. gets you this. <laughs> Oh my god, love that. Our little apples from Milk Pail. And we kind of stocked up on a ton of the smaller ones. just left the apple orchard right now and now we're headed into town into East Hampton to kind of walk around go check out a little bakery I think I might want to get some coffee I'm so exhausted um, and now we're just in Uber so we just got to a little brunch spot called Carissa's and it's just right behind me and it's pretty busy right now, but we just finished apple cooking. I think we just kind of want to sit down and I think I'm going to get a coffee or a matcha or something because I desperately need some caffeine. Are you guys, are you going to yeah, get Yeah, I'm going to get a matcha, so. Are you going to get anything? Um, I'm probably going to get a coffee. Yes, we definitely need some caffeine. And yeah, it's literally so cute, but it's so crowded right now. So what do we give the food ratings, ladies? And your plate's like all green mm -hmm. and then yours is like yellow with your water bottle and like the avocado love we found this little flower stand on the side of the road and now we're just walking back and look how adorable this looks like what a dream and they have all their produce oh my god guys they have the pies country peach and sour cream and then they have this just looks so adorable right in New England we're coming up on my favorite corner in East Hampton right now and I just have such good memories because there's this little grocery chain called Citarella and last time we were here we went in and got a few provisions and snacks and so here is my favorite corner in East Hampton, there's Cinderella. And then this is kind of like the main avenue that we're about to go on. And then we're just gonna follow it around. Pottery Barn also monogram? 30%. Yeah, Pottery Barn too. theater where they had um, the film festival and this is my favorite Starbucks of all time it's just the most gorgeous location because it is not the Hamptons without blue mercury and I always joke with my mom whenever I see it because I always go oh my god blue mercury it reminds me of the Hamptons We just finished our time in East Hampton and so we just called a an Uber to come and pick us up to take us to Sag Harbor which I've been the most excited for and then you have this tree that's just totally blossoming behind me and turning it's just so surreal because I'm not used to this at all because I'm from the west coast obviously so this is just so nice um, but I'm so excited to go to Sag Harbor and you guys will see why in a sec, but um, we're gonna hit Love Shack and the Goop has their store. Yes, they extended the summer pop-up until October 31st, so we're gonna Cause they knew we were so coming up. And they closed they the New we York coming. location in Manhattan. Oh yeah, so yeah, yeah. So this will be, cause I feel like we stock the Goop website like yeah, on day. a regular basis, so we're gonna go and check that out and then hit Buddha Berry, do a little bit of browsing, and just have a good rest of the day. Oh, thank you. Like, I can't understand when 
you spread out stuff in the bread. <laughs> Provision. I've been waiting like a full year to come here guys and we are finally here. I think there is a little wait line. Here is the goop store. I've been waiting for so long. Oh my god. This is the little market provision. They literally have everything here. It's always. Oh, the macro bars. The best store here. It's just absolutely stunning. Love Shack, and of course, it is so crowded. But look at this display. So gorgeous. Just walking up from town and we came across this view of the harbor and it is absolutely breathtaking so I just wanted to show you guys and catch this on camera because it's just too good to be true. As our last stop, we're just gonna head over to Budaberry, which is this famous little health food yogurt self-serve shop that's also like a candy store in Sag Harbor. And so we're just gonna go and get some provisions before we take the bus back. We're pretty tired. Also, look at this behind me. Isn't that insane? That's just like house goals. Um, but we're pretty tired just because we've done a lot of walking around the Hamptons already today. So I think we're just gonna see if we can go get some yogurt and then try to get on the earlier jitney to get back to the city. And so that's kind of just the plan right now. Here it is. I commend you for that. Oh yeah, I can't, no, that's another fact about me. I can't, we're not the monster. Yeah. Yeah. Obsessed with this flavor. I have their vegan vanilla chocolate swirl with their homemade cookie dough and then vegan dark chocolate sauce. And it looks so good. We're just walking around with our bowls. What did you get? Cheers. I got, Oh, I got cookies and cream, and I got some Nutella, some Reese's Pieces, cookie dough, um, the whole some shebang. gummy bears. Oh, you got gummy bears? How could I not? Love that. Oh, my God. So good. <laughs> and then what did you get? Just all things chocolate. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and so now we're just finishing up our Buda Berry. <clears throat> we're going to go and try to hop on the earlier Jitney. Oh, that restaurant's so beautiful and then head back to the city.